angry guy here. A son fights man getting it on with his mother. A son fights man getting it on with his mother. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. I mean, y'all, you, you saw what happened there. You saw what happened there. If you want a bit more context, let's go ahead and put on a video that's going to break it down for you. Standing on business when his mama was acting a fool, Lil James was just trying to enjoy a party when he caught his mom twerking on a random guy. Lil James decided to man up and stop his mom from embarrassing herself and him like that. The man in the video also apologized after seeing Lil James be so upset. Although James wasn't having any of it, just be glad he ain't have the toolie on him. If you think Lil James did the right thing here, subscribe. Guys, it's a complete and utter breakdown of society. And I keep warning y'all because y'all won't listen to me. And when I tell you things are going to happen, you see them happening. I tell y'all, Enrique and Miguel, they have been tormenting the black community for decades, all right? Do not leave these men out of the conversation, okay? Chad, Brad, Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, guys, Quan, Miguel, Enrique, do not leave out Enrique. Don't leave Enrique out of the conversation. Don't leave Miguel out of the conversation. These men have been tormenting the black community for decades. They are staples in the black community. They have a lot of black children themselves, and a lot of them have black blood themselves. Don't leave them out of the conversation. These men are not good. This young man right here, it is so sad, but unfortunately, he, might, he really might be you know, traumatized for life after experiencing this. The sad thing is that this ain't the first time. You can see how he responded you realize quickly that this isn't the first time this has happened. This is a series of behaviors. This is something that he has witnessed with his mother doing continuous times. He, it's a normal thing for him to see men coming in and out of his house. He's in the living room playing PlayStation. Little dudes plops down next to him and says, yo, little man, you got an extra controller? Like, you don't even realize it. This, this man has had to put other men out of his house, all right? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. He has school the next day. And this man is still in there, you know, after he's done, you know, his mom had her back blown out. And now he's now this man is in, in the kitchen, eating his food, going through his Lunchables, drinking his apple juice, playing his PlayStation 5. You know, PlayStation 5 is in his room. He doesn't even know how it ended up in the living room. This man, that means either mom came, mom came in and picked it up while he was asleep. What the living heck is this? What the living heck is this? So this is this, this ain't the first time. And then what does Enrique try to do? Enrique goes, it's me, man. It's me. What's wrong, man? It's me. It's me. And then he's like, okay, okay, I understand. All right, we, we cool. And he tries to give him his head. And, you know, little man slaps that away. Slaps it away. Like, get the heck out of here. Like, this is, this is what happens to these young men. They have to grow up so quickly. Evidently, this kid is like a social media star. He's like, uh, he has a YouTube channel, I think. And this is the kind of nonsense that he's already dealing with at this young age. These types of men running through and his 304 mommy is here throwing it back like that. It's guys, you can see the look on that man's face. You can see the look on this little man's face. Look at look at the anger on his face. You could see the anger. If he was strong enough, if he would if, listen to me, he would have thrown hands hard. If, if he was big enough to throw hands hard, wait, I'm telling y'all, give this man three, four years. Give him three, four years, and you're gonna see him putting up fights. You'll see this man just going out on the limb. He's not even going to He's going to go buck wild, all right? Women destroy communities. They destroyed their communities. They brought these types of men in there. 
They brought Ty Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Quan, Enrique, Miguel. They ran around with these men. And this is the result of that. It is so sad to what a young man has to witness this. We, I told y'all, we're not at the end. We The end was long ago. We are past the end, all right? We're now moving towards a new beginning as men are walking away from Western society and relationships in Western society. No man should have to put up with this stuff. No man should have to tolerate this stuff. The level of disgusting behavior that we are witnessing in modern day society cannot be understated. And why is it happening? It's happening because modern day women want it to happen. This is the way that they like it. I put out a video earlier where you literally had a pookie screaming and hollering at the passport bros for leaving, for walking away from society. Why is it his business? That just means more women for him, right? Because if the passport bros are leaving, then he can have all these women to them to, to himself. They need these men to stick around and clean up the mess that they leave. If these men walk away, then Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, they are going to have the spotlight put on them. So instead of another man taking care of their kids, that's when the government's really gonna crack down on these men and go for that child support. And when they can't, when they can't get it from these men, that's when they're gonna throw them in jail. All the terrible things that these men are, have done to society, to their own communities, it's gonna catch up to them. It's finally gonna catch up to them because you have all these simps that are getting into relationships with single moms, and then they become stepfathers, but they don't want to use that word anymore. That's not a step. That's not a stepdad. That's a step up dad. No, nah, bro. That's a stepdad and a simp. You should not be getting into a relationship with a single mother and taking care of children that are not his own because he feels like something is missing in his life. Those kids aren't yours. They belong to another man. Another man's kids are his kids. I hate to put it like, say it like that, but it's the honest to goodness truth. Men need to stop getting mixed up with these single mothers. And that this, is, this, is the, this is the result of this now. This poor kid, you know, now he has to go throw hands because his mom won't behave herself. Because his mom thinks that she can go and do this. I'm listen to me. I know I've seen 50-year-old women with this type of behavior. 50-year-old women. Women who are well into their 50s, pushing 60, doing this. So y'all need to understand it doesn't end right there. These women will do this at 60 years old. They're going to be doing this, y'all. At 70 years old, they're going to be doing this, y'all. Guys, you think it's a game. Y'all think it's a game. Y'all think this is a joke. You're gonna see you will you're gonna see in the future 90 year old women 40 years from now. 40 years from now. Hear, hear, hear me on this, y'all. You are going to, and that's a long time ahead. You're gonna see these 90 year old women twer twerking, behaving this way. Because that's all they know. Social media in 10 years is gonna be covered in grandmothers. Behaving like this, doing this type of thing, because this is who they are. This is what they've been. I'm 40 years. I'm 40 years old right now. I'm 40, and you know, a lot of the Gen Xers who are older than me, they're saying the same thing. That like the Gen X women, they're no. This is what they are. Like the roosters are coming home to crow for them right now. And you're gonna see a lot of these Gen X women and older millennial women in 10 years, grandmothers, grandmothers on social media twerking like this. It's it's a, it's sad. It's disgusting, but that's just the way it is right now. And there's not going to be any change. These women going around with this whole soft girl thing, it's just a scam. So they can find a dude who's going to take care of them, take away their shame. These women, they just want someone to take, you know, to clean up the mess that they've created and provide for them because, you know, they've had their adventure and now they want to ride off into the sunset and live lives of luxury. Get the heck out of here. Give that life to a foreign woman because they don't deserve it. They do not deserve it. Guys, that's why they say men are born, women are born rich and leave the world poor, while men are born poor and leave the world rich. So darn true. And I'm happy to see this man standing up, this little man standing up for himself and saying, no, you're going to see a lot of these young men. You're going to see a lot of these young men in the future. You're going to see them changing their name. Like a lot of these young men, their mothers are 304 and they, are, they have only fools accounts, lonely fans. And their names are all over the internet. These men are going to change their last name. A lot of them will go that far. If they cannot get away from it, they will change their last name. They will change their appearance. They will become a completely different person 
They will cut their moms off. They will cut their siblings off that are involved in this. If they have sisters involved in this, they'll cut them off. You know, there's this, this young man, you know, that's a part of the Cyrus crew, the, you know, the older brother of Miley Ray, Miley Ray Cyrus. He was talking about why women should not go on to Lonely Fools and OnlyFans and put themselves on the internet like this because it's only going to destroy their futures. And you had all these Only Fools uh, women and their simps coming after them, coming after him. And what ends up happening is guys like him just throw their hands up. They're like, all right. And they go, they change their name. They change their name. And, and Billy Ray Cyrus, you know, he thinks it's a game. But when his son, I think that might be his only son, or his oldest son at least, goes and changes his name and walks away, that's the end of his le lineage right there. That's the end of his legacy right there. These women are not going to continue anything. They're, everything behind, everything about Miley Cyrus is negative. There's nothing positive about Miley. It's an absolute disgrace. And when your son says, okay, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't have anything to do with y'all. I'm changing my name. I'm walking away. I'm done. I'm washing my hands off y'all. I'm cutting. And and, and dad's going to get pissed off. Oh, how dare you do that? I raised you. How dare you get pissed? Bro, look at the family. You can't just abandon your family like that. We are a disgrace and a laughing stock. I do not want to walk down the street and be filled with shame for things I did not do just, to be a, just for being associated with you. Guys, what do y'all think regarding this? Son fights man getting it on with his mother. I want to know your thoughts in the comments, so let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.